What's up, Tuas Tribe? Bringing you guys another uh, top 16 uh, decklist thing. We had a in person uh, Card of Magicka uh, event in Niagara, Niagara Regional. It was really cool. Um, Card of Magicka, thank you, everybody. This was a live event, so I think I believe there's a stream and everything done for this one. It was really great. It's nice to see that stuff getting done um, going forward. Uh, let's jump into it. I mean, this is with this is the first tournament of the new ban list so we can clearly see that that's not the greatest look man <laughs> um so i've avoided making a ban list video so far I, there's a lot of people there's a few people including eggman that uh uh kind of just made a day one damn list made their initial thoughts i'm one of those people that kind of enjoys waiting getting my thoughts together and there's a, there's other youtubers that did that too and there's either way it's not wrong it's just fun it both ways are fun to watch all right um i just avoided it um but i feel like anyone that looked at the ban list and was worth their salt um uh, probably noticed that imperial really didn't get hit and all the other hits like everyone lo could logically see why those things were done um every hit was make sense i think hammer spark was a little questionable but whatever um <laughs> um but everybody knew that imperial was gonna come out of this like the king of the format and it's it's not it's not looking good my my initial take on the nine decks of the top eight so was it oh my god that's like what 60 something percent um oh my god <laughs> that's not right that's like it's like 58 percent or something oh my god <laughs> oh that's so not great um i will say this is the first event after a ban list literally i don't think it could have been sooner um i don't think people in mass have had time to a adjust to what this meta was going to be looking like most people probably knew imperial was going to be the best deck but with that much time i could see like people just defaulting to what's good um we're still seeing ancient guru for example we're still seeing magna x for example a little bit of vaccine for example like i think it's a lot of people just kind of on things that they knew were gonna work right and i think that's just i think that was gonna be fair um and uh, it's just there's it, i could go i could dive into that a lot but you guys are here for the deck list so let's stop yapping uh nine decks in the there's some interesting decks in here i'm really happy to see that but it's gonna be nine imperials so imperial players forgive me if i kind of cut you guys short um you guys know i do it um it was a, it was actually a pretty big event 30 332 players nine rounds of swiss um you guys got to remember that like our our player caps are actually cut it's not at 512 right so it's somewhere but it's in that 300 4 400 300 range and um uh where our our games aren't gonna sell out because in-person events get weird people are naturally gonna it's a whole thing it it's a good number i'm excited to see that number it's a it's a good number so uh, we get to start with Omnimon, 15th place. Uh, foo, foo, foo. Ph, ph sounds are fun in in a in a Cantonese Mandarin. Um, I'm so racially ignorant, man. Who, <laughs> uh, Humiko? That's that's how I always try to say. It. So Humiko and then who. So I think that's how you say your name. Throng, through th throng. Oh my god, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying. Who, <laughs> who. This is for its name, 15th place, Omnimon. And I th I'm sure this is like a deck that like everyone's been trying to like look at, like what are the right numbers to play this deck? This deck is just cool. It's like finally like since DNA, I'm sure we've been wanting a DNA Omnimon deck finally have it um and and look at it oh uh, we're playing uh four of everything that came in the the set bt 17 except for the only thing we're not on four of is the tie and kari a uh, little child tamer uh it's a really interesting tamer um when you when your breeding area blah blah blah, blah when you, uh gain one memory and then end of your turn you can tap it draw a card and uh, play a tie or a Kari Tamer in name, and that's everybody else. This Tamer is insane. This Tamer is so good. Oh my god, is that so good? And then on top of that, something interesting here. Uh, let, let, how do we fit it round out the deck? And, on, and also three of the Secret River Greymon. Uh, how do we fill out the deck, right? We're maxing out on everything we were given. So how do we 
finish it off, right? And we're gonna get three of the Alter S Gabumon. Interesting that we didn't do the Koromon, but I get it. The the Gabumon and the Agumon don't really matter. I thought I thought maybe they could Digivolve on a Koromon uh, by rule top box text, but it doesn't. Three of the BT12 Agumon. It's just one of the best searchers, especially since it picks up Ty and all your Tamers are Ty. It's a really good searcher. And then it picks up all your Grey Mods. And then we we facilitate the rest of the deck with Alter B because it can Digivolve on any Omnimon. And since you you are DNAing enough Megas, you are going to get the win attacking effect. We're on two of those. Four of the Miraculous Golden Knight, which is just an insane... Tr oh, what are we calling these? The movie cards? Every, uh, I mean, all the movie cards are pretty good, except for the Gallant Mountain one. I think there's there's room for the Shine one to be said to be good too, but sorry guys. Um, to Digimon Emperor, we're still in a rookie, promote rookie format. Um, and then we're, we're supplementing some more secret rares. Every time someone's trying to build this deck, I, I kind of weep in sadness at how many secret rares are, you gotta get, especially Metal Garurumon. Oh my God, this, the price of this guy is going up. But basically the, as you can see, the main strategy of the deck is you're going to take your rookies, you're going to warp them up or hard play off of the off the technique of the new guys and just clap, man. I'm, I'm not too sure where this deck lies. I've also been struggling trying to figure out like what positioning it's got plays, right? The Metal Guru Monk can contr controls boards and controls tamers, especially in a world where we're looking at not being not allowing tamers to suspend or kind is kind of huge uh war graymon it's just some aggression and you know it's just the, the it's just the deck so grass who 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 um yeah 15th place omnimon deck I and mean, if, if if this is signs to gum you might have just been the first person to inspire like a plenty of people to play this deck because a lot of people around me are trying to build this deck so congrats congrats on your uh success man uh and this is the one of the magnamon x's this should be an anosian killy so your last name is killy i think that's easy <laughs> killy 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 it's like K-I-L-L-Y. And then your first name is Anojan. Anojan. Is it is it like a J or a G? Like a French G? Like Jean or John? John. John. Anojan. Anojan. I think it's definitely N-O. Oh my God. I, I can't be doing this every... I can't do this every day, man. Uh, Anojan. We're going to go with a Jean. Like Giancarlo. I was probably wrong, but you're also in Canada. So... Mm. <laughs> uh... Blue Armor Rush. I know we're very used to seeing Magnamon X in the yellow variety, but we're seeing blue and we're seeing a uh, Blinding Ray. We're seeing we're, the inclusion of the Paladin Mode Ace because it does have the free trait. Um, not seeing an inclusion of, I guess, oh, these are free. We're not seeing any inclusion of the uh, the new option. I guess it's, I guess you don't have access to blue and green, so you can't use the, like, the Paladin Mode movie card. Um, but after that, you know, just your assortment of good Vmons, uh, Magnamons, notably cutting here on the BT8 one and the BT13 one, still maxing out as much as we can. We're only on two different, two level fives, which in Zudamon Ace, always been a good card, still a good card, probably ends up, it's just ends up being the best Ace, like generic Ace and blue, and blue is a common, common denominator in a lot of world. And let's let's dig into the top end. We got Paladin Mode Ace. Level 7 Ace is a new thing. You're probably caught a bunch of people off guard with it. Uh, Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. Quartzmon. Quartzmon's interesting. Wait. Black, oh, because of the black. Right, right, right. Um, that's an uh, interesting set. Three of the movie Davis. Two Taikamiya. This is something I've... I, I personally thought that more people were going to be on Taikamiya over Shu Yu Lin. But this is the world we live in. And we got room for Final Zubagon Punch, Heaven's Judgment. Insane card. Really, really. Good. Heaven's Judgment's so good. And then one of the Awakening, Awakening of the Golden Knight because it's at one. <laughs> um, so yeah, grats, grats to Anojan. Anoj, Anojin? Anojin. I don't know. And then this one is Daniel Dooley. Uh, ah, 10th place, Magnamon X. We're seeing the inclusion where... A lot of the similar stuff, just one Ukamon because why not? Uh, Flame Drummond, two of the new promo Flame Drummond. This is something I thought would take over the list more, um, but uh, only one of our two players actually even bothered running it. Uh, actually fitting in room for the Ice Wall, cutting a Heaven's Judgment, actually finding room to add the Shu Yu Lin, the old Davis, playing one more Davis over Anosian. 
um and then cutting cutting the bt 13 magnum on to one so we actually we cut uh we cut a level four entirely to fit um flame drum but then we added an extra one but we're still maxing out on these two magnum drums to one zero ice got cut awakening golden the night one and we actually see the room mode burst shine gray mon burst mode ace so more ace shenanigans at our level seven uh degree and not not playing ruin mode not playing uh quartz <laughs> um but yeah four trainings trainings was a busted a card demi vmon we're playing the new bt 16 one and so uh yeah grats on 10th place daniel and then our single um uh, our single vaccine deck um, I know there's, I know there's like criticism on, on like, it's not, it's not armor. This isn't vaccine. This is armor vaccine and it's different. And it's like, man, you're just guys are just using the same engine. It's, I don't know. I don't want to, it's not an argument I want to have, man. But what's very fun here is we just said Numamon. That was a good idea. Let me show you the one better. Um, the, the hit on TK hit these guys tough. Um, we're, because we're because we're not playing TK, we're not even playing Messenger of Hope, which is is rough. However, um, if I were to make a ban list video, I would have said that it was the Patamon that should have been hit over TK. However, I'm not upset at the TK hit. It was it was either going to be one of the three. My rating my ranking would have been hit Patamon, TK, uh, Messenger of Hope in that order in, in priority um they chose they chose they just they swept they swapped right like they did they took my second place pick which i can't be too mad um and i, I agreed with the reasons too um patamon but now patamon is not going to be as consistent so what did we do to resolve that consistency because we do not want to be digivolving onto our level force for four right because something that this patamon plus tk has been telling us to do is be very greedy with our our champion roster so what did we do we added godomon and this godomon is actually nuts if you promote patamon get this godomon on board or get this God godomon in your security and be able to digivolve um you actually the godomon actually does see itself be removed from the security stack giving you a memory so not only are you digivolving into your champion for free you're gaining a memory off of it and then you're getting on a memory off of the patamon and then if you were lucky enough to see your one up tk you play you get another memory this patamon is still patamon's still annoying man I, I i will not agree with people who who argue with me that patamon is okay um it's just probably not <laughs> um that's just me uh, we are on we're maxing out on our level fives because because we don't have access to awakening we didn't, we're not playing awakening at all here so because of that um we just mat we're just adding level fives um that's another thing that the deck got hit with awakening allowed them to kind of skip level fives most of the time so now we're just maxing out on our aces we added edamon and we're just adding utility if we have this many level fives why not add two more aces mega gargumon ace for our edamons valkyrie mon is still an insane card valkyrie mon edamon this is something that uh uh the digigard united boys varney like advocate a lot that the, like people can just start putting these two cards in any deck and suddenly like everybody's got it going and then i i kind of agree and they kind of prove it here right this guy isn't even a vaccine um one venus mon's a good floodgate card uh ruin mode tk takashi um uh, situation three trainings did i even say this person's name uh oh, man i always forget this is mark's sixth place vaccine list it's a good list um uh, we added oh we also added the patamon and then the, we added pillowmon can't play digimon by effect because imperial's insane man <laughs> imperial is here to stay what's interesting enough though is we're not playing any kind of removal option which is sus but hmm. let's go into our next deck our next unique deck of the top 16 actually fifth place ben getting uh with uh dexter rugamon um and what's the most interesting thing about this dexter rugamon situation right now is everyone i know and i kind of agreed that they were everyone was using the lugamon ag bottom end for this deck and they just felt like it was easier to get a, your tamer situation resolved yada yada 
Um, but no, Ben said, no, nah, we're just going to play the Doramon stuff because that's the stuff that's going to work. We're going to facilitate, we're going to supplement it with some of the Jar Marvin Jackson stuff. And it got them, it got them all the way to uh, fifth place. Um, kind of sick. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, like this deck, this deck does a lot. The protection effect off of the new deck store stuff. So for any of any of any of you uninitiated a trad these all the new dexes have a trash effect when, when one of your door so if it's the level four think of them as x any x cards so the decks level four if it's if the level four is on board and it's trying to be deleted by uh you can go ah, digivolve prevent the deletion now you're getting your wind digivolve effects things are happening helps with the collision because you can now collision with this guy right if you're gonna die into the attack we actually chose not to play the decks level five at all and that's actually something interesting too as i see people play the deck the level five one tends to be the worst one because the door Greymon wants to just digivolve into door goromon for free right and so like there's never that's just never been this comfortable situation where you swing with the level five Get the deletion effect save yourself like it's just it's just hasn't been i haven't seen those clean routes where it's just not better to go into your six if you're going to get deleted anyway now you get to go into your dex Rugamon. it's got the same effect or goromon whatever um yeah and then how are we supplementing it or we actually played a sephiroth mon which is hilarious so it's hybrid for game is funny but this is for three so you actually start a main phase force an attack so you can block maybe that's what that's a way that you needed to get some of your redirect shenanigans through we are playing two so we are seeing this often one proto form for the again the uninitiated every digimon in, every mainline digimon in here is an ex anybody uh, and then again mega Dramon back from bt15 still a good card still an insane inheritable um the ray air Dramon gets you a marvin jackson gets you a oh D digivolve it's an on play when digivolving so sometimes it's just your best level four oftentimes you could probably get um just 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 stuff done like you could get a kosuke under and then did you evolve into air Dramon, and now you have two tamers that are going to get spit out at the end of your turn depending on how you feel that morning um yeah and then four defense training one calling of darkness just because you have so much access to purple playing one yuji that's interesting and it's so you can this is the for let's let's review this card because it's been a while since i played alpha mon when one of your black digimon everybody uh with x anybody in its traits attacks you may suspend this tamer to place one card with x anybody in its traits from your hand under that digimon as the digivolution card so if there's an inheritable you feel like you're missing this megadramon did you evolve to some by some oh my god this is so, it's so this is so good this is so good or if you had to be awkward with the stack um like let's say you had you you did evolve into Dex Dora Goromon because you didn't have this level five, this Yuji, and then you drew it after. This Yuji can just get this under anyway, so now you got your full effects popping off. Kind of good. And then one AG, just just cuz I feel that. We even have room for a floodgate. That's so sick. Um, Grad's been on fifth place. Again, just like just like the Omnimon uh player. This these are two decks that people were really excited for. And they, it's just it's just gonna take the right guy, they're top the right event with the right numbers, and it's clearly you first. Is it is it gonna solve? Is it is it gonna cause all uh, yeah, yeah, it's so cool. Grad's been. Um, next list. Blue hybrid or ancient Garurumon. Ancient Garurumon. Um, oh man, I'm, I'm happy to see Koji be successful. It's my favorite Digimon. It's my f Magna Garurumon is my favorite Digimon. Lobamon is my favorite champion, I guess. Um, Koji, my favorite main character. I'm so glad we're here. I just wish it was an ancient Garurumon focus, but whatever. We're here. My favorite character. Um, yeah, the the ban list hit this deck. Uh, Hammer Sparks to one hurts. Uh, us because that deck was playing like two to three um lou and it's so interesting that to see that we are on um we are on uh five digi bubbles we're on the blue base we're playing four of the bt16 ukamon with one of the promo one because we're that's just how it is right now one bokomon is is a good card we actually cut one of the new strabimons to to fit in the bokomon uh one that we have uh bt7 strawberry because the on deletion 
is so good going forward this this on deletion strawberry is probably going to be one of the best cards we're playing three of the promo love them on because we're blue base and we get to fit it in um and the only thing i would it's not fair oh sorry this is this is 12th place cam Hen henderson's uh list the only thing i are uh, oh and then we got full metal blaze analog youth zoe lou that, those are the cards i'm stating as like interesting unique additions this is where we like those are the decision points in the deck right only two of the ancient guardian deity seems kind of heavy but when you're fitting so much stuff in it you gotta cut somewhere this is where we cut the only place i feel a little strange is like we're not playing the one of jet selfie beowulf's insane don't get me wrong beowulf is busted um but also the new Be there's such a place for the new beowulf mon plus trainings um it essentially with the new Beowulf Mon, if you have one of these promo Lobomons in trash, you can Beowulf uh, one of your Kojis for three, bring back a card, ideally the Kendo, not the Lobo, um, gain a memory. So you did you evolved into your uh, level five for two. And then if you have a training on board, you can did you evolve into Ancient Guru for free and just go to town. And I love it. However, <laughs> however that's not the that's not the tech we chose we we chose to fill it in full metal blaze i like full metal blaze really good card a lot of the best decks are drawing a lot there's no deck right now that's like completely like just dumping their hand even seven demon lords is kind of dr like keeping their a steady hand size no one's going there's no leviathan there is no belfamon that's just kind of going against hand size right now so full metal blaze is a good card it um, and then fitting in the analog youth makes sense. You've got a level six with an that that is constantly uh, KOing itself for value. And, and then one of Lou, because why not? So grats to uh, 12th place. Uh, and then five digi bubbles because we're playing with commands. Duh. And then we're going to the next ancient guru, uh, third place. So the interesting thing here is first, second, third, and fourth all got the same record. Everyone got X1. We don't have a true... It's not, I hate saying it like this, but we don't have a true winner of the tournament, if you guys know what I mean. Um, there wasn't a top cut, so it, it's just all the X1s, whoever had the better tiebreakers, which is... Ugh. <laughs> but we're seeing a lot of the same thing from the previous list, except we're not... We don't have three level fives, but we do fit in the Jet Sylphie to our Ancient Guardian Deities. Same for uh, Searching Uko one. I would love to know why both players decided that Blue Base was it this time around. I, I just love blue, blue, blue base because I love playing with this promo Lobomon, but I would love and then we're playing we're playing the BT uh, for Kendo Guru Mon. I guess it makes sense. Bouncing level threes on attack is just kind of good. Um, personally, I'm fitting in Magna Guru Mons because it's fun, <laughs> but we're not playing any Zoe. Uh, interesting, just interesting to note. No one's playing Hacker Judge. Personally, I really like fitting in Hacker Judge, but eh. Um, <laughs> uh, two memory boosts, uh, again, try, try some trainings. I, I, I still think the, but we, trainings only work if you're actually on, uh, the new Beowulf one. I think it's an underrated card right now. Um, one ice wall, one hammer spark, two full metal blaze. I'm probably going to start putting in full metal blazes again. Uh, I, I kind of like this. This is a card I ran in last nationals in Melga. I really loved that card. Um, but yeah, so grats. Oh, I never said your name. Is your Fong Fong Vu Fong Vu? Um, sick. No, sick list. I love to see blue base do well over red base after the hits. It's so so interesting. It's an interesting world to live in. <laughs> um, but grats, grats on, grats on getting third, getting on technically on the first play first place bracket, right? Um, yeah, and now. God forgive me. We are talking about nine different Imperials. Hopefully I actually was able to click all of them properly. Um, I'll probably have to cut the video. Maybe um, we'll see. Uh, it's, it's hard to, when you have nine decks in a row, it gets, it gets tricky, but let's talk about them. The problem, the new problem of the format. This is the first tournament day after our ban list. I'm not ready to call it tier zero Imperial. But going into this tournament, we knew Imperial was going to be strong, and it showed up in force. 
it's well represented um i still personally hold back on calling it tier zero but it could be um the signs are there it's just too way too soon it's day one after a ban list let's 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 have some time to breathe so this is 16th place kenny tang's imperialist and we're starting to see we're seeing a lot of uh, diversity in the rookies like everybody's got a different ratio for their rookies well the interesting here is we're seeing uh the red x Mon from bt16 i didn't think this one's gonna see a lot of play we also are seeing the bt16 sting Mon. we're not playing any of the armors which is interesting um another thing another notable part is we're not playing any of the bt12 pyodramon we're just focusing on on the starter deck for our number count uh it tends to be this this seven ultimate count tends to be that sweet spot i see a lot of people on three five three a's three of the not playing any of the starter deck dragon mode also interesting but we are on the bt12 fighter mode one paladin mode ace we're gonna see that going forward it's pretty normal four two on our tamers is just like the golden rule everybody's doing it it this is just don't question it at this point just play this ratio and then two giganeth two return of the progenitor not much to be said there i think everybody should be on one of this worm on that's a personal take of mine this worm on should just be everywhere you should just be playing this worm on um but what's interesting is like we're on this x on so not all our stacks are gonna have jamming mm. That's, I wonder. I wonder how much, how often that came up. Sure, our stack will be 10k, so that gets that gets over every ultimate insecurity, but not sixes. So that should be interesting. Grats on 16th plant, Kenny. Remember, we have nine of these, so I'm, I'm gonna cut you guys short. Sorry. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, this now this one is 13th place, Ramanan. Do you roll your R's? I'm Hispanic. I'm gonna roll your R, but Ramanan not gonna try that last name uh again tamer count but we are on one hammer spark because that's the rule now return of the starter deck fighter mode like it or dragon mode i like that bt12 fighter mode also here to stay uh cutting down on a fighter mode ace uh, but now we see it we're still on seventh level fives but we're at, we're taking away from the starter deck and adding the bt12 one just for some just a little bit of sprucing some diversity in our uh champion lineup or our level five lineup uh one worm mod pretty much pretty similar rookie counts here uh and then still this this red xv one is interesting as our extra xv and then kind of a lower count or kind of making having our fun with our stingmon situation here and then two lydramons i'm still i'm still a sucker for putting togamogu and lydramon as part of our champion lineup imperial i like it a lot if you feel like you're having consistency issues please try the the, the green blue armors they're really good they're really good they really smooth i think they smooth out your level four situation a lot um so grats ramana 13th place uh now we go on to 11th place brad tiller you are playing uh blue green with the armor uh armor situation going on we we saw this previously before my previous video uh, i was rightly corrected that magnamon x anybody does have the free rule text i have so much stuff to talk about and i do these all in one shot uh but Return of the Progenitor works on it, insane. Um, and to do that, we're all playing Lydramon and uh, Magnadramon to have our champion situation locked down. We're not, we're only on two Stingmons, which is like crazy to me. We're on 12 champions and two Stingmons. That feels so wrong. <laughs> um, but then if you count it out, we are on six green, uh, six green and 10 blue. I. I have to ask that has has that does that number feel like it bricks you as long as you see i guess as long as you see light like you're still technically uh any uh, there's there's quite a few deviations combinations like it, you have to get into start you have to start getting into like probability and statistics to like really like figure out where these numbers get you um and i love that kind of stuff but i'm not gonna get into that in another video uh four three still seven level fives no purple worm on what the uh, <laughs> uh but still oh wait we even cut a davis man oh my goodness uh you're breaking all the rules all of them uh one one fighter mode a's two giga deaths and then magnamon x anybody still a nutso card no uh wait a minute we're on no 
BT, we're on no BT 16 Dragon Mode and we're on no BT 12 Fighter Mode. So all of that power went into just having this X and this Magnum on X antibody situation available to us. And I feel like if you establish this first X antibody and then you start following up with Imperial plays, oh God, game over, game over. That sounds so gross, man. How could you do this to people, Brad? Now we go on to eighth place, Nico. Um, kind of seeing a return to normalcy, except we are very Wormmon heavy with our rookie lineup. So it, to in response to our Wormmon heaviness, we play Togu Mogumon instead of Lydramon, so we can Digivolve for cheaper. Love it. Um, but the return of X Vmon from X EX1 is very interesting. Still five Stingmon seems to be pretty normal for people. Um, and then five XV, and then we're finishing. Well, how many champions? Twelve champions. Okay, so yeah, so we're on five, five, and then two. Doesn't make sense. And then the return to this, what I was saying, this like nice ratio of seven level fives, but we're playing one BT12, two Pyodrama from the starter deck, and then four sixteen because it's busted. Yeah, I, I recommend anyone playing, trying to build the deck themselves. I feel like you guys should start start here with your level fives and then decide if you want to mix it up. I think it's a good it's a good place to be. We're on two fighter modes, so we do have our pal. I keep saying that we're on two paladin modes, so we do have the potential to be able to uh, get the uh, the plus three memory situation going for us. So that's not bad. That's kind of cool. One hammer spark, two four Davis can or two four tamers. Um, again, standard ratio. Start here before you start messing with it. It seems to be working for most people. Um, and then one starter deck, one BT12 fighter mode, two fighter mode ace. Nice, good numbers, good numbers. Um, that was Brad, so this is ninth place. No, this is, that was Nico, so this is, oh my God, the last one was Jackson. This one is Nico, oh my God. Uh, this one's Nico. Again, we're on heavy. We're having the Togumogumons. We actually included Lydramon here to cut with so only four xv mons only four sting mons but we fill in the rest with uh armors uh three starter deck pyodramon four bt12 pyodramon uh two two dragon modes two two starter deck dragon modes is interesting one ice wall one hammer spark um so that was nico let me go back oh my god oh my god all right so kenny Ram Ramanan, 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 Brad, Jackson, Nico. Oh, so the previous one was Jackson. This one, oh man, Jackson, Nico. Nico's playing Vikemon BT16. Interesting. I, I think I still think that's one of the best cards of the set. Uh, so Nico playing again more Wormmon heavy. Um, three, three, four on the Paleodramons, and then yeah, standard, standard Tamers. Two of the starter deck, two of the BT16 Dragon modes. None of the BT12 uh, fighter mode were just. It is what it is. It's a good. It's ugh, there's nine of these, man. So that was Nico. This is. That was Nico. This is Jefferson. We're in the top four. This is our fourth place. Uh, no, oh my God. This is Edwin. This is seventh place. Um, oh my goodness. Playing the, oh man, playing the BT-8 fighter paladin mode. That is so, that is cool. One of the X antibody. We are on three Lydramon to help make that work. Return of purple Wormmon. I know the previous list added two. The golden ratio of level fives. Uh, one XVX starter deck sounds pretty cool to me. Uh, and uh, one fighter mode, uh, BT12. None, uh, no, two ace, two f paladin modes, one of each. Nice, two, four on the tamers. Oh man, I'm, I'm losing, I'm losing you guys. I'm losing it. That was, this is Edwin. So this is Jefferson. Golden ratio of level five, two, Two dragon modes, standard tamer count, only one paladin mode, two 16, none, none of the BT12 fighter mode, Wormmon heavy situation, really rookie heavy situation, 15 rookies, holy moly, uh, but yeah, yeah, so this one should be Michael, no, 
HP return of HPD. And that card should probably be banned. Only two of the progenitor, one mega death is interesting. One mega death is interesting. We uh, going back to the four three split on our Pyludramons. We just want to be aggressive. Is that's we we value the aggression. We want we want to be attacking twice every time we hit level five. Is what this tells me. Uh, we return to a more V Mon centric uh, rookie count. Oh my goodness, we're on six of each Stingmon to XV with a little sprinkle of Lydramon just to help fill it out. That makes sense. Only two progenitors interesting one mega death is cool two starter deck paladin dragon modes and no bt12 fighter mode no no level seven even is really cool now we get to talk about our uh, so the sorry that was michael chambers second place list and this is our chant this is our victor uh technically first third second and third um all got the same record everybody went egg everyone went eight and one so we don't have a true winner i hate saying like that because i feel like it, it belittles uh people's success but top four it was all uh all comes down to tiebreakers as far as i know maybe maybe someone lost to each other in that in the, like maybe dawson beat jefferson for example so um stuff like that is possible but it really just comes down to tiebreakers and so dawson had the better tiebreakers got first place not to de devalue anybody i just I like uh, numbers. <laughs> now we're seeing a worm monster. So our champion, worm monster uh, rookie count, playing no armors, playing six and six of XV Mon to Sting Mons, preferring the memory ones. The memory ones are the insane ones to me. Playing our golden ratio of level fives. Actually, no, we actually have no. We're playing eight level fives. Our champion played eight level fives over the standard seven because we are actually still on three of the Polydromon, one of the BT-12, no BT-12 fighter mode, no starter deck dragon mode, one paladin mode, BT-16 ace, three progenitor, and we do have our standard golden rule of tamers. So, that was nine Imperials in a row. Please thank me in the comments for the things I've sacrificed for this channel and my sanity. <laughs> but. EggmanEvents.com, Cardamagica.com, or whatever, Twitter, or whatever. Um, there is a stream. There was a stream, I think. So that's cool to see. Nine rounds of Swiss. Holy moly. Oh man, the ban list did some stuff. The ban list did some stuff. I feel like I feel like we're almost there. Um, if you had to, uh, one minute, what should have, what should we hit in Imperial? If you ask me, I think the thing that should be hit in Imperial should be the memory gaining champions. So the BT six, the BT twelve XV and the BT twelve Stingmon. I think those should go to one. Uh, my quick take is hitting Davis and Ken to one is not the play. Um, you would have to ban that card. I think. I think putting it at one does creates in an unfun environment for not only the player of Imperial but the opponent of Imperial. If you're the opponent of Imperial and they see the one of, that's never gonna feel good. And then when you're, uh, it's just I just don't think that's the right hit. Hate me in the comments. Give me the interaction. I will comment. Like, share, subscribe, eggmanevents.com. We're always here. I'm always here. Um, like, share, subscribe, man. Oh, man, this was a journey. This is nine Imperials, man. Jesus. <laughs>